Hi, I'm Jim Hayes, the proud principal here at YG. I know you think you know what we're all about here at Yuba Gardens, but I promise you, you don't know. Come on inside and check out what we've been building over the last few years. I'd like to start by acknowledging our amazing and supportive administrators. This team has been together longer than any other in the district, and I'm very honored to continue to work with them for our community. YG is known in the area of building very strong relationships with families and students. This is a major focus as we know that it is key to connecting students to the learning. We have worked hard to create something for everyone that comes to us. We have a full range of honors courses in 7th and 8th grade, an inclusive practices co-teaching program to ensure all kids have access to grade level content, a highly competitive athletics program that is a hallmark of our school and almost every elective imaginable to get students interested in school and get them thinking about college and career. We also have a tutorial period built into the day to make sure students are filling in learning gaps and taking charge of their education. Here is a snapshot of our demographics. Some highlights here is that we are adding another section of AVID to the master schedule, as well as a full complement of honors courses in seventh grade. Preliminary CASP data is in. Here are our ELA scores. You will see that seventh grade stayed the same, but our eighth grade scores jumped four points. Math showed some good progress in seventh grade. However, we still have a ways to go. The school will be targeting math heavily this year with the purchase of IXL, an online analytics-driven program to support math growth, growth for all students. Our discipline data is on this slide. We have consistently decreased the suspension rate. Matter of fact, over a six-year period, we have decreased it by 10%. Attendance data is also something we are very proud of. This data speaks to the programs and connections that our school excels in. Chronic absenteeism has dropped 12% over a two-year period, while our ADA has increased 2% over that same time period. Here is our star reading scores from beginning to end of last year. As you can see, the scores dropped slightly, but a further analysis shows that we reduced the total number of students needing urgent intervention by almost 30. Star math results are more positive as both grade levels showed growth from the beginning of the year, with 7th and 8th grade growing 3 and 5% respectively. Our LPAC data is another highlight from the previous year. We show 13% of our students will be reclassified this year, with one-third of the total EL students eligible to exit this coming year. It is also worth noting here that last year when FPM came to the school, the EL monitor said that if he could give a gold star for implementation of an EL program, he would award one to Yuba Gardens. This population is very important to support, and we will continue to work and find ways to get even better. So our data at a glance is overall positive, with CASP scores improving, suspension rates dropping, and attendance rates trending the right direction. The next slides will show what actions we will be taking to further improve for our students. This year, the math department will have IXL to support math skills, and we are creating a new teacher professional development to help ramp them up and support them. This will be in concert with providing collaboration hours for our teachers to work together and keeping our tutorial intervention period during the school day. An environment that is conducive to learning is always something that is top of mind at YG. To that end, the school will be focusing on making our PBIS Tier 1 team even better. This past year, we implemented SmartPass in order to cut down on bathroom-related incidents. 
it is also a great way to make sure we can account for everyone in case of an emergency. College and career readiness is another focus at YG. Last year, we held a career day and had eighth grade honors courses. This year, counselors will be creating career plans for each student, and we will now have honors courses available to seventh graders. YG will continue to support specific subgroups through our ORC support staff and paraprofessionals. This year, we plan on doing ELD PD to further bolster this program. Homeschool communication is critical. We have an active Facebook and Instagram account to show all the great things happening at the school. This year, we are focused on getting our wellness hub up and running, as well as improving our newsletters with the addition of SMORE. The special education subgroup is a critical one at YG. We believe strongly that students need to be included in the general education setting as much as possible. To that end, we have seen tremendous success implementing co-teaching on campus. We are expanding this model this year to accommodate more students, which is very exciting. Here is a look at our overall budget for this year, which includes Title I, Lottery, LCAP Music, Prop 28, and Athletics. I hope you learned a little bit about who we are and how committed our staff here is at YG, making every day a great day to be a warrior.